Hi, and welcome to Two Mamina Teaching. My name is Christopher Jacobs, and welcome to Lesson 2 for Term 1. In this lesson, we'll be focusing on the lowest common multiple, the LCM, and the highest common factor, the HCF. This is my contribution to Two Mamina Teaching. In this lesson, we'll be focusing on the lowest common multiple, the LCM, and the highest common factor. However, in order to do this, or to calculate these, we need to be able to do some prime factorization. So, let's get into this lesson. What is prime factorization? Prime factorization is breaking down any number into its prime factors. For example, if we have the number 15, we know that if we break this down by prime factorization, we should get an answer of 3 and 5, which is both prime factors. So, let's recap. What are factors? Factors are the building blocks of any number. They build up any number that we can think of. So like we said 15, the factors of 15 are 3 and 5. In order to calculate the LCM and the HCF, we must know how to factorize. Let's do an example. Let us prime factorize 24. So how do we do this? We take the number 24 and we place it in a ladder that looks like this. Then we take 24 and divide it by the smallest prime number, which is 2. 24 divided by 2 gives us 12, and we write 12 just below it. Then, we take 12 and we see if we can divide that by the smallest prime number of 2. Yes, we can. So we divide 12 by 2 to give us 6. We then do the same thing with 6 and divide it by 2 to give us 3. 3 cannot divide by 2, and so we have to move on to the next prime number, which is 3. 3 can divide by 3 to give us a final answer of 1. So, 24 breaks down to 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Now, when we have a number times itself, we can change what is called the exponent. The exponent is the number that tells us how many times it is multiplied by itself. So, instead of saying 2 times 2 times 2, we can write this as 2 cubed, or 2 to the power of 3. So, in essence, 24 is equal to 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 3. Let's try another example. Let's prime factorize 50. First, we place 50 in a ladder that looks like this. Then, we take 50 and divide it by the smallest prime number, which is 2. 50 divided by 2 gives us 25. 25 cannot divide by 2. So we move on to the next number, 3. 25 can still not be divided by 3, and so we have to move on to the next prime number, 5. In this case, 25 can be divided by 5 to give us 5, and so we write 5 below the answer. 5 can still again be divided by 5 to give us an answer of 1. And so 50 is now written as 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5. Now when we have a number multiplied by itself, we can again change the exponent. So in this case, we can write this as 2 multiplied by 5 to the power of 2. Let's take a third example. Let's prime factorize 70. Hmm, let's see what happens. We take 70 and place it in the ladder. 70 now divided by the smallest prime number that we know, which is 2. 70 divided by 2 is equal to 35. Hmm. 35 cannot be divided by 2, so we move on to the next prime number, which is 3. And 35 can still not be divided by 3, so we have to move on to the next prime number, which is 5. 35 divided by 5 gives us 7. 7 cannot be divided by 5, so we have to move on to the next prime number, which in this case is 7. 7 divided by 7 gives us 1, and so we can say that 70 is broken down into 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 7. Prime factorization is key to calculating the LCM and the HDF of any two numbers. The LCM and the HDF is only calculated between two or more numbers. So a single number, say for example 36, does not have an LCM or an HDF, but rather 36 and 48 can have an LCM and an HCF, and in a moment we will show you how to calculate both. The first step to calculating an HCF or an LCM is to prime factorize both numbers. 
So let's start off with a simple example. Find the LCM and HEF of 12 and 16. The first thing we do is we break down the 12. So we place 12 in our ladder and we see if we can divide it and prime factorize it. So we take 12 and divide it by the smallest prime number, which is 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. We then take 6 and we can still divide it by 2 to give us 3. However, 3 cannot be divided by 2, so we move on to the next prime number, which is 3. 3 divided by 3 gives us 1. And so 12 can be broken down to 2 times 2 times 3. Or in this case, 2 to the power of 2 times 3. Next, we do the same thing for 16. We place 16 in a ladder and we divide it by the smallest prime number, which is 2. 16 divided by 2 gives us 8. 8 can be divided by 2 as well, so 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. We then take this and then divide it by 2 yet again. So 4 divided by 2 gives us 2. And we can do it again and take 2 and divide by 2 to give us 1. So 16 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. In other words, 16 is broken down to 2 to the power of 4. Now that we have this, we can find the LCM and the HCF of 12 and 16. So, 12 is equal to 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 3 and 16 is equal to 2 to the power of 4. But how do we calculate the LCM and the HCF of this? Quite simple. First, let's calculate the LCM, the lowest common multiple. The first thing we're going to have to do is list all the prime factors of 12 and 16, which in this case is 2 and 3. Because 2 occurs in 16 as a prime factor of 16 and 2 and 3 occur as a prime factor of 12. So we list both the 2 and the 3. Next, if there is a factor that occurs in both numbers, we have to choose the factor with the highest exponent. So in the case of 12, we have 2 to the power of 2. But in the case of 16, we have 2 to the power of 4. So which one should we take? That's correct. We have to take the one with the power of 4. So to find the LCM of 12 and 16, we now multiply the prime factors of both by each other. So instead of just saying 2 times 3, we have to say 2 to the power of 4 times 3. In other words, 2 to the power of 4 is 16, and 16 multiplied by 3 is equal to 48. There you go. The LCM, or the lowest common multiple, of 12 and 16 is 48. What about the HCF, or the highest common factor? Well, this one follows a very similar process to the LCM. However, there are some minor changes. So let's see what changes. First, we list all the common prime factors between the two numbers. Let's take a look at this. 12 has 2 to the power of 2 and 3, and 16 has 2 to the power of 4. So what is the common prime factor between two, both numbers? The answer is 2. So we list 2 as a common prime factor. Next, we have to choose the prime factor with the lowest exponent. In other words, in 12, 2 has an exponent of 2, and in 16, 2 has an exponent of 4. So we have to choose 2 with the lowest exponent, in other words, 2 to the power of 2. The final step is to multiply all the common factors together. In this case, we only have 2 to the power of 2. And so our answer for the highest common factor between 12 and 16 is 4. Let's try another example. Let's find the LCM and the HCF of 18 and 24. Hmm, this seems like it could be tough, but it's actually quite simple. Let's start off by prime factorizing each number. We first placed 18 in the ladder, and so 18 and divided by the smallest prime factor of 2 gives us 9. 9 does not divide by 2, so we move on to the next prime number, which is 3. 9 divided by 3 gives us 3, and then we can divide 3 again by 3 to give us 1. So the number 18 is made up from 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. Or in other words, 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2. 
We do the same thing with the number 24 by placing 24 on a ladder. Next, we divide 24 by the smallest prime number that we know, 2. 24 divided by 2 is equal to 12. And so we take 12 and divide it by 2 to give us 6. We take 6 divided by 2 to give us 3. And we know that 3 cannot divide by 2 without giving it a remainder. So we take 3 and divide it by the next prime number that we know, which is 3. 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. And so 24 is broken down to 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Or in other words, 2 to the power of 3 times 3. Now that we've broken down 18 and 24 into its prime factors, we can now find the LCM and the HCF of both numbers. So let's start off with the LCM. First, we have to list all the prime factors of both 18 and 24. In this case, it's 2 and 3. Next, we have to choose the factor with the highest exponent. So for the 2, in 18, we have 2 to the power of 1. And in 24, we have 2 to the power of 3. So we have to choose the one with the highest exponent. So we take 2 to the power of 3. Next, we look at the 3's. In 18, we have 3 to the power of 2. And in 24, we have 3 to the power of 1. So which one should we choose? That's correct. We have to choose 3 to the power of 2. Because that one has the highest exponent. The last step is to multiply these factors now by each other. So 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2. In other words, 2 to the power of 3 is 8, and 3 to the power of 2 is 9, and 8 multiplied by 9 gives us 72. So, the lowest common multiple of 18 and 24 is 72. What about the HCF? Well, for the HCF, we follow the same set of rules that we spoke about earlier. First, we have to list all the common prime factors that both 18 and 24 have. In this case, 2 and 3. Next, we have to choose the factor with the lowest exponent. So in other words, with 18, we have 2 to the power of 1. And in 24, we have 3 with the power of 1. So in other words, we have to choose 2 and 3. The last step is to multiply these prime factors by each other. So 2 to the power of 1, which is 2, multiplied by 3 to the power of 1, which is 3. So 2 times 3 gives us 6. And so 6 is the highest common factor between 18 and 24. So to recap, in order to find the LCM and the HCF of two or more numbers, the first thing we have to do is to prime factorize each of those numbers. By prime factorizing, we break down each of those numbers into its smallest prime factors. Once we have the numbers in its smallest prime factors, we can then determine the LCM and the HCF between those two numbers. For the LCM, we have to list all the prime factors that occur in the numbers. Then, we have to take the factor with the highest exponent between all the numbers. Finally, we have to take all of these factors with the exponents and multiply them together to get an answer. That answer is the LCM. To calculate the HCF, we have to list all the common factors between the numbers. Once we have all the common factors between the numbers, we have to choose the factors with the lowest exponent. So for the LCM, we must choose the highest exponent. And for the HCF, we have to choose the numbers with the lowest exponent. Once we have the factors, we are able to then list and calculate the highest common factor between two or more numbers. So prime factorization is a key building block in calculating the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple. And they eventually become very useful when we move on to term two and term three, especially in grade nine. So this lesson lays the foundation not only for this year, but for many years to come. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed.